शुक्लांबरधर विष्णु शशिवर्ण चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वदनम ध्यानोपात सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे कामिणी विद्यारंभम क्या सिद्धिर्भव मे सदा ये नक्षर सधिगम्य महेशरात्म व्याकरण प्रोक्त तस्म पाणीन नम वाक्यकारुचि भाष्यकार पतंजलि पाणी सूत्रकार प्रणतस्मी मुनित्रय वागर्थाव संवृक्त वागर्थ प्रतिपत जगत पितर वंदे पार्वती परमेशर ओम शांत 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम Namaste. Namaste. We will start the class. Let me um, share my screen. So we'll start with chanting our Maheshwara Sutra. It's there on the screen. Om A E Un Rilik E Ong I Ouch Haya Varatha Lan Nyama Gana Nam Jabhanya Gadha Dash Jaba Gadha Dash. महेश्वरानि सूत्राणि ओम सु ओजस अम ओटाभ्याम Okay. So in our last class, we were looking at Marut Shabda, and we were seeing friends of Marut Shabda. <laughs> So the ones that decline very similarly to Marut Chabda, like Suhrid, right? So Suhrid, we can look at Suhrid quickly. It's a lot of just the addition. You do see some changes, right? Suhrid, um, like in one one, it becomes Suhrid, but otherwise, it, and and see the Suhrid in seven three, but otherwise, it's um, pretty straightforward. We're just adding the pratyayas. So we can chant it together, Suhrit or Suhrid, Suhridau, Suhridaha. So a good challenge would be to to have this chart. <laughs> let's let's do it this way. You can open up your book if you need. That's on page uh, one, around one thirty, I think one thirty one, one thirty two. But we'll just look at this chart, and we should be able to do it just with this chart, right? So suhrid plus sa su is just suhrid. Suhridau, suhridaha. Right again. That's the the actual charts on page around one thirty. I think one thirty one, one thirty two. Then suhridam, suhridau, suhridaha. Suhrida, 
Suhridhyam. Right, then Suhrid Padbe, Suhrid Bihi. Suhriday. So you're just looking at the chart with me and doing this together. Suhrid Bhyam. Suhrid Bhyaha. Suhridaha. Suhrid Bhyam. Suhrid Bhyaha. Then Suhrid Basa, Suhridaha. Suhridoho, the Sakara becomes Visarga, right? Suhridam. Suhridi. Suhridoho. And then it becomes, this is Suhrit, so Takara. So Suhrit, Su, for that 7 3. We saw there's some Sandhi involved, that, um, that Chartwa Sandhi that we were seeing last time. We'll quickly go over that as well. I know that was a bit confusing. Um, sometimes these consonant Sandhis rules are, a, are a, bit, a bit involved to remember. So sometimes it's just easier just to look at the chart and become familiar with the chart, but these will be useful in the future. So we're going through them right, as much as we can. So some of the words like that, right? Suhrid means friend, sarvavid, one who knows everything. Mrid, clay. So these are words we hear in Vedanta, right? We hear a lot about clay and pot. So <laughs> mrid, mrid and gataha, sarvavid. Apat means calamity. Sampad means wealth. Right, we hear the word shat sampati, sixfold wealth. That's um, so sampati comes from this word sampad and upanishad. Right, so upanishad one one can be upanishad or upanishat. Upanishad or upanishad. That's why you see sometimes both. Okay, so. What we'll do is, um, there's a few more, right? But what we'll do is we'll look at some of the exercises. So this is in the back of the book. This is um, around page 183, 183, this exercise 36. You can let me know in the chat if there's any that were particularly difficult, but I just chose a few at random um, just to go through them. So I'll start with that. So, so you can follow along with me. So this one's a bit simple, so I'm going to go a little faster with this one, <clears throat> right? So we need to look at our sentence, Acharyaha Upanishadam Upadishati. So you have to say it like a Sanskrit Pandit. <laughs> Acharyaha Upanishadam Upadishati. So hopefully you're already getting some of the meanings, but you might not be cl cl clear what upadishati is. So we'll, we'll always want to start with our verb, right? So we're going to warm up with this one. So we start off with our verb, upadishati. Right? This is, you want to get the datu. This is upa plus dish datu. Um, so this should be like this. I need a little line there. Upa dish six u to teach. Um, how did I know that? That it means to teach. One thing is that this word is quite common, right? Upa dishati, meaning to teach. Or sometimes you hear the word upa desha. The upa desha means that which is taught. Um, so that that becomes a noun, but. This upa plus dish, it always has something to do with teaching. So just something to become familiar with. Um, this is on, if you go to your datu kosha, it's page 79, but no need to pull that up. If you just want to put that in your book, refer to page datu kosha, page 79, you can find upa plus dish there and you'll see all the different meanings. 
Okay, so right, we know that this looks pretty straightforward. So yeah, it is, right? Lat Lakara, Kartari Prayoga. This is Pratama Purusha Ekavachana. Let me know if you have any questions so far, right? So we know this means something teaches. He, she, it teaches something. Always after the verb, we want to go for our one one. So here, you know, just from scanning the sentence, we see that acharya is one one. This is acharya pratipadika, uh, ending punlinga, just like Rama. Right, one one. And this is kartri pratama to upadishati. So, right, Acharya, huh? just like, so how do we know it's Kartri Prathama? We know because the verbs in Kartri Prayoga, right? So because the verbs in Kartri Prayoga, it's going to point to the Karta, the doer. So Kartri Prathama means the first case in the sense of the doer, right, to Upadishati. So, what we know, the teacher teaches. Now, here's our last word. So, Acharya Upadishati, the teacher teaches what? Upanishada. Right, so this is our Dakaranta word, just like Surid, what we were just seeing. So, Upanishad declines, right? Upanishad or Upanishad. Upanishado, Upanishadaha, Upanishadam, Upanishado, Upanishadaha. Right, so a two one is Upanishadam. As we are saying, Upanishad. This is Dutiya Vibhakti Ekavachanam. This is Karmani Dutiya. So, second case in the sense of the object to the verb Upadishati. Right? So, what happens? The teacher teaches Upanishad. So notice how this sakara with the dot underneath is this is the same as this murdanya um, shakara. Okay, so it's not upanishad; it's upanishad. So that, I hope that was a good warm up, right? Just getting our <laughs> our brain started. So this next one, mridaha gataha jayate. But maybe. Uh... Should we skip to a harder one or you feel like this is okay? This is good? Or should we skip to a harder one? Okay, we'll, we'll stay with this. <laughs> right, we don't know what mrida is, perhaps. So we always want to pick up our verb, right? So what we're going to get is jayate, oops, jayate, datu. So funny thing is that jayate comes from jandatu. Again, just another thing, jayate is so common that it's good to know this, jan for a to be born. I did put the page number if you want to look at datu, go to page 17. Latlakara. Now, tricky thing about 4A is that it can be karmani or kartari. <laughs> but you see atmane pada and you see yakara. That yakara comes from this four. The fourth kind of gives you that yakara. So if I make this in karmani prayoga or kartari prayoga, they look exactly the same.
Um, but how we know, so how we know what it is, is, is you just think of the word, right? To be born. Right? Something is born that has that karmani sense to it. Right? Rama is born. It's not Rama borns something. <laughs> you can't born. So it can't be kartari, right? Because you can't born something, right? It can't be in this, can't point to the doer. So what I took of this as, as I took it as karpani prayoga. Right? So you can see that in there. Pratama Purusha Ekavachanam. So something is born. What is born? Gataha. So Gata is easy, right? This is just like our Rama Shabda. So it's Gata is the Pratipadika, Akaranta Pullinga, right? Just like Ramaha, it's one, one. And this is um, Karmani Prathama to Jayate, right? We said Karmani Prayoga. So this is Karmani. So the pot is born. Okay. Now, can you tell me in the chat, what do you think Mridaha is? Mridaha. Okay, so just a clue, this is Mrid Pratipadika. So not, what is the case? What do you think the case is for the word clay here? It can be multiple different things. So what do you think it is? The Pratipadika is Mrid, just like Surid. Okay, so seeing some mixed answers there. Okay. Let's look at the chart, right? Just like Sukhrid. So let's decline Mrid. Okay. So Mrid is Mrit or Mrid. So can it be one one? No. Mrido, Mridaha. Yep. So it could be one three. Mridam, Mrido. Mridaha. So it could be two, three. Mrida, Mrid Bhyam, Mrid Bihi, Mridhe, Mrid Bhyam, Mrid Bhyaha, Mridaha. Okay, so it can be five, one. Mrid Bhyam, Mrid Bhyaha, Mridaha. Could be six, one. <laughs> A lot of possibilities. Mridoho, Mridam, Mridi, Mridoho, Mridsu. He, Mrit, He, Mrid, He, Mrido, He, Mridaha. Technically, it can be symbol than as well. <laughs> okay. Now, how do we know which one it is? We have to see the context, right? So, so far, we know that the uh, pot is born, pot is born. So would it make sense that we have another Pratama Vibhakti? Not really, because then it would be, it doesn't really match up with the verb, right? It would be the clay and pot is born, but it does, you can't even do that because it won't match with the verb. We can say clay is born, or sorry, pot is born to clay. Mm, doesn't really work so well. 
it's not born to play or that's not the object of being born right we already have a karma we are karmani prathama can it be the pot is born from clay yeah so this is going to be our answer here 5 1 you get that 5 one, the fifth case is a bit funny uh, one of the meanings of apadane panchami right apadana one of the ways you can get apadana is the origin of birth <laughs> so that from which something is born gets that status so this is going to be our fifth case this is apadane panchami so let's fast forward here to jayate right so what we know from the sentence is the pot is born from clay <laughs> what a vedanta sentence okay we have one more sentence um how about i'll just let this go through and i'll and and just you know for time's sake we'll go through this a little bit quickly too okay so apa does it mean any questions so far let, let me pause there Just put a, type a question mark in the chat or use Zoom to raise your hand because I can't see everyone. Okay, so we have this sentence here. Apadi Ishwaraha Janan Rakshati. You know, the sentence is nice enough to give you the verb at the end. It's not always the case. So what, what we'll see in Bhagavad Gita, that the verb kind of randomly put there, right? Kind of randomly that you'll see it. So Rakshati, we're going to start with Rakshati. Rakshdatu, one P to protect. Latlakara, Kartri Prayoga, third one. This is pretty straightforward. We don't see any Yakara or Atmanipada, so we know it's not Karmani Prayoga. So something protects, right? What protects? We always want to look for our first case. So if you just scan this sentence here, you can see that Ishwaraha looks like Ramaha, like 1 1, right? So Ishvara, Akaranta Punlinga, just like Rama. So notice how Ishvara, many people don't know that it's a long E. <laughs> so this is Kartari Pratama to, oh, it says Kartari Pratama to Ishvara. It should say Kartari Pratama to Rakshati. <laughs> so the Lord protects. Okay, let's just pause there, right? So Kartri Pratama to Rakshati, so the Lord protects. Oftentimes, then we can go right to left. So the Lord protects what? Janan. Jana Shabda. Dutiya Vibhakti Bahuvachanam. Karmani Dutiya to Rakshati. So this is just like Rama as well. This is a, a ending Pundanga. So the Lord protects, what's Jana? People. Lord Jana protects the people. Apadi, okay, what is my case for Apadi? Can you tell me in the chat? One person already put it in there. What's, um, what's the case for Apadi? So the word is Apad or Apat. Just like Surid. So 
suojas amochas tabiambis nebiambias nasibiambias nasos am ni os su. So you get the e. <laughs> e is seven one. So this is why knowing that chart is helpful. You can go through the chart, right? So apad is just like it's a uh, dakaranta, just like um, we saw surib. Seven one. This adikarane saptami. Okay. So the sentence when we look at it. Lord, ap apad means what? Calamity. So the Lord protects people in a calamity. So in a difficult situation, the Lord protects those people. Okay. How are we feeling? Give me a thumbs up if you feel okay with these. Thumbs side or thumbs down. <laughs> If you have any questions, you can let me know. Can it be from calamity? Yeah, so in English, that does make sense. So we would maybe translate it that way. If you think about panchami vibhakti, yeah, it could also be panchami vibhakti, right? You can also do apataha. Apadaha, sorry, apadaha, because the um, that which you are protected from gets the fifth case. But here it's given in the seventh case. So um, again, you can still you say the word from calamity, but just knowing that it's adhikarane something meaning that it's um, that the, they're in the calamity. Okay, we're going to switch gears here. We only have a little bit more time. Um, so I hope, you know, the rest of these sentences we're not going to do, but I hope they look okay. Right? They're straightforward sentences now just using our dakaranta, dakaranta or dakaranta ending words. So, right, number three. Sutra Bhashya Krito Vande. Does this sound familiar? I hope so. <laughs> so the word is Sutra Bhashya Krit. Sutra Bhashya Krit. So then we can look at a chart just like Marut. So Sutra Bhasha Krit, Sutra Bhasha Krito. So it can be one, one, or one, sorry, one, two, or two, two. Sutra Bhasha Krito. But now we're doing Vande, right? This is not Namaha. Namaha, then you'd get fourth case. But because it's Vande, <laughs> even though it means the same thing, Vande, the object of Vande. Sutra Bhasha Krito. So it's a second case, 2 2. Some other words, right? Sukhrida, right? A, Ta, Bhyambis, right? So Ta is 3 1. Mridaha gataha, we saw. So suhridaha pustakam nayami. Suhridaha can be a few things. It can be one, three, two, three, five, one, six, one. I think, I think that's all of them. Um, so you can see what that one is. Apadi seven one. Shudha. What case? Shuddha. Just like Suhrida. So you see that long A ah, and it's th third case, three, one. Yeah, perfect. And Samidaha. Right? Samidaha can be a few things. So we're not going to look at the whole sentence, but it can be a few things there. 
Okay, we're going to switch gears to start with our new uh, word. We're going to go to the next Pratipadika. The next Pratipadika is rich. So this is page 133 in the book, page 133. Cha or ja ending, strilinga. So notice how this is strilinga, feminine, rich of that. Have you heard the word rich? You have because it's right, the word which Rig Mantra or Rig Veda. Rig comes from rich. Rich is the Pradipadika. So it's that type of uh, mantra. So for Pratipadika is ending with cha or ja. So here we'll just look at cha for now. The last letter can become ka or ga at the end of a pada. Um, there's a Sunday rule for this. We won't have time to look at that now, but we will in the future. But this word rich can become rik or rig, right? That's why we see rig veda. It can be either, and there's Sunday rules for that, rich or rig. But the word is rich, so then we just add our, we add our pratyas, right? So rich plus o, rich o. Rich plus us, rich aha. Rich plus um, rich um. Rich plus o, Rich ao. Rich plus us, rich aha. Rich plus a, rich a. Okay, remember now this is the pada section. So there's going to be a change that takes place here. So we get rig bhyam. So rich becomes rig. So rig bhyam. Rig bhi. This is normal, so rich plus a, so rich a, rig bhyam, rig bhyaha, richaha, rig bhyam, rig bhyaha, richaha, richoho, richam, richi, right, seven one. Richoho. This becomes rikshu. So what this letter, right? What is this letter? It's ka. So it becomes rik. And then mordanya shakara. So rikshu. So it looks like this. So this is how it becomes rikshu. We'll see all these steps, but rich finally becomes rik. Rik plus shu becomes rikshu. Hey rik, hey rig, hey richo, hey richaha. Okay. <laughs> so without even knowing these rules, you know, I think we can get most of the cases because we've seen these pratyas. So that's why these soup pratyas are very um, helpful because we can get a lot, we can get pretty far with just knowing the soup pratyas. That's why we chant su o jas. Right? It takes us pretty far. We just need to be careful in these places. We'll go over the rules, but we can also start the homework, exercise 37, that's page 183. 
because I think you can still get the homework without knowing the rules <laughs> because you'll have that chart with you. And then we can start looking at some of the rules in the next class. Okay, we're going to end here. Om Tat Shri Krishna Paramastha. So you can let me know if you have any questions. I'm still here. I'm just turning off my camera. <laughs>